Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. This week we have been building our bunker and it's almost ready. And today we are going to do first dangerous thing inside of the bunker. Uh, I was too busy to make the coffee maker. I got some parts machined, but not all. And while Lauri was playing with his coffee machine parts, I was making the roof. Anna, how it's going? Pretty well, pretty well. You are already like professional welder. What? You are professional welder. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because you are welding and you are get paid to do it. Okay. That makes you professional. Yeah, but Hanna is building the roof and I'm making the uh, new coffee maker. We really want to get the dangerous stuff going on. Yeah. So this week we are going to just do this. And here's the situation. The roof fits otherwise nicely, but I, I made small mistake up there. Uh, the hoses are a bit too high, so we have to do this. It's going to do like extra lap. <laughs> extra lap around the hoses. Yeah, and now Hanna is going to weld this and I'm going to go get materials for the door. We need like sliders and a bit more pipe. And mm. Hanna has some goodies under there. What do you have there? I have our windows here. Yeah, the windows arrived. They are super thick. Yeah, I can show the one window that we already took from the box, but they are thick. They are 25 kilos each. Yes, so here is the window. And this is what's interesting. I thought that there is more plastic, but the plastics are really, really like thin there. It's mainly just glass. And this is the direction. It's funny the instruction says that this is the direction from you get shot at. Okay, now is the moment of the truth. Will the roof fit? Käyn katsoa noita letkuja. Hyvältä näyttää kaikki. Joo, viisi senttiä tonne päin. Mihin päin? Tonne päin. Sitten pari senttiä sinne päin. Ottaaks jostain kiinni? Tuu alas. Tuu alas sieltä kaataa. Joo. It's done. Nobody died. Cool. Maybe next time. Maybe. Mä kuolen Then we started to drill the holes to mount the windows. And this is a bit tricky because they have to go through the whole thing and uh, hit the right spot on the other side. So I have to be really precise. First I mark them with smaller drill through the holes and then I use a bit larger drill and meanwhile I was doing that. Hanna was cleaning up the steel parts and now I have the bigger drill. It's 16 millimeters and the bolts are 12 millimeters so there is some wiggle room and I didn't completely think about what happens when the uh, <laughs> drill goes through. <laughs> It's because it's like it's like hammering the drill the concrete. Of course, it's going to make this. But uh, to prevent that, I was starting to drill from both sides, so the drill goes through on middle of the concrete. And with this method, you are able to drill through without any any hassle or problems. <laughs> okay, you cannot drill through, it's going to crack, but it doesn't matter, it's under here. 
Of course, if we crack them all, then the uh, window framing is going to be weaker. So we are going to do this like <laughs> this trick. But uh, here is my clever plan. The bulletproof window is going to be here inside of the wall. We are going to glue it to this frame here. So if something hits, it's going to be pushed against that. But uh, these bolts are going to prevent that. And then here we are going to have polycarbonate to like prevent cracking the expensive windows from every hit. And I hate drilling polycarbonate, so I designed this in a way that I can just take sheet of polycarbonate, put it on top of this, and then we have extra frame that comes goes here. How the Oh, it's like like this. Yeah, now it fits. Yeah, and this is going to hold the polycarbonate there. And then we can just open four nuts, take this away and replace the polycarbonate if it gets scratched. And I could even add like just glass elements as a top layer. So then we would get the like broken window sound every time something tries to kill us. Yeah, but I'm going to now drill more holes. Hanna is going to clean and paint this, and then we are going to glue the windows. Yes, the holes are done. And of course, we cannot assemble the full thing, because if we have the frames on both sides, the window doesn't fit in. So I have these. These are great product. So I'm going to put this. Here I'm not going to hand screw it in. Takes a bit more, bit more oomph. Yes. Yeah. And now we just clean this here and glue the window in. And to protect the glass, we put these soft things here. It's pretty tight. I would say that it's too tight. But uh, it's important to be quite tight so does anything doesn't go like around it. And the frames are also AR500 or Hardox. So these are also going to stop everything. And we are going to use this uh, what the fuck glue. <laughs> <laughs> switch the channel. We have actually sponsored video with these, these guys coming, but this is not sponsored. I just have this here. And this, this suits this really nicely. Uh, this glue says that you can glue whatever, wherever with it. And it's transparent, so it's, if it spreads slightly, it doesn't like uh, ruin the view. Look how nice. Mm. If uh, Open eye Sora video model steals our job, we can start a construction business. Truly, yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to just throw in the window. Oh my fucking god. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. We have to glue those better. Okay. Exciting. Oh, oh yeah. And the uh, real name for the glue is the world toughest fix, not uh, what the fuck <laughs> glue. Yeah, but hey, <laughs> hey, you see what they did there. Yeah. This is like small font and this is big. <laughs> okay. They, they just like you, they want you to fill, fill the box. Yeah. Like fill up the story. Okay, new try, new try. Uh -huh. Okay. It's still not going. Hanna got this big brain idea to put it like this. If you haven't noticed, we are we have absolutely no clue about anything here. <laughs> we are just doing. Yeah, we didn't like 
do any research, we just woke up today and decided that we are going to start to install bulletproof windows. Please be the drum. Oh yeah, uh. it just works. Fit. Almost. Maybe it's possible to the other side of the wall. Hey, what Oh, okay, we got the window in. Uh, uh, we were too focused on this task and forgot to turn the camera on. But I can say that it wasn't easy. Yeah, so I was saying that uh, I'm going to put like wooden. Or actually, I'm not sure. I think we don't even have to push it more against that. Because the glue manufacturer actually says that it's good to have like bit thicker amount of glue and not to squeeze it super hard. It's allows to flex more or something. So I think it's it's just there now. Yeah. Let's put the polycarbonate in so we can test something. Yeah, this is not painted yet, but uh, I, I'm not sure it does even be is that even visible. Hey, and then the big frame. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this hole here, there is like reinforcing steel on the hole, it was a bit tricky to drill. I think I have to finish it later. Or like just, I think mm -hmm. it doesn't need all, all the bolts. We get like pretty good amount. Okay, let's throw this in. Hey, and the polycarbonate. Yeah. It's uh, outside of the... No, it's just... Oops. It just doesn't fit. That's pretty spot on. Look, that uh, <laughs> this is Aquarius. Holy shit, this looks professional. It's like it, it's like almost like some engineer has designed. Yeah, I need just to like uh, open up the holes a bit more. It's pretty hard to line them. It's quite a thick wall. But the overall design and installation, I have to say that this is Hanna really, really good. Surprisingly good. Yeah, let's see how it looks on that side. Yeah, this looks so nice. The uh, polycarbonate was a bit dirty, but we can change that. And look how heavy duty. It's from the outside. Uh, my laptop installation was a bit bad. I have to move it slightly to that direction. I think I'm going to just put like compromise position here for uh, Hannah's window on my. So we can use both the same, same position. I'm not sure would it be necessary to change the position. If it's mm, like yeah, here, yeah. Then, then we can both use it. And it's also great on the videos that we can both like, if we are interested on seeing the force, we can both see it when we are mm -hmm. filming together. Yeah, but holy shit, that looks good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't want to drill the uh, holes more before the glue has settled, but I'm really, really pleased on the like installation because it's resting on those soft fabrics. And then there is like a uh, couple millimeters of the glue that is also flexible. So any like shocks from the wall doesn't transfer to the glass. So I think it's going to last a really long time. Okay, here is the door. And we are not going to get the door mounted today. We are going to go do like just cheating trick and use the crane to hold it on its place. I want to crush something. I think you, you want to also see something stupid being crushed. So we are going to plug the door hole with the door. Yes. Yes. This is the same material as the roof and the window framing, so AR500. Uh, it's six millimeters thick. So I'm pretty sure that this can take 308 round. I'm not sure straight on, but at least on the angle. And it's on angle towards the press. So I'm, I'm totally sure that it's thick enough. And I think this weighs 
at least like 120 kilos. It's quite heavy. So we are not going to mount it with regular door swinger things. What are those? Swivel, maybe not. We have sliding thing there, and then I have the rollers, are they? So it's going to be like sliding door, and first we are going to just hand operate it. It's not the like most important thing, but when I have time, I'm going to use really long pneumatic piston, and I'm going to make it move with the air, so there's going to be a button, you press that, and it makes the spaceship sound like and the door is going to open, that's my dream. And we put the framing here just to make it like not flimsy. Not like a now it's like really sturdy. Let's see how it looks on its place. And of course we are going to paint it and remove the rust. And then here, we have some letters. And I think it was hydraulic press bunker 10 million, what it's going to say here. <laughs> yeah, I think something can like slightly escape. Uh, not car springs or maybe not hammers today. I think some ball bearing stuff. And then it's going to be, be like one or two centimeters between this and wall, but I put the like stopper here. So if something hits the door, then it's going to hit the stopper and not, not fly here. On this direction, I think it doesn't matter that much because if something goes to this direction, then it's already bounced from there and from the door. So it's not like stupidly dangerous anymore. And it's really, really small gap here also. I think we can put like rubber things here that are sliding or something against this to like seal it off. Okay, I decided that we are going to crush this. It's actually pretty echo here now again. We have to put more of those acoustic panels, but uh, we are going to crush this and we can aim the shrapnel. Yeah, I think we are going to uh, aim there and here. And I'm going to put GoPro here, so it's going to film how it hits there. How loud it's going to be, that's also interesting, it's loud. It's not very loud here. Yeah, I would say that the, it wasn't loud before the roof and it's not loud after the roof. The roof doesn't really matter. It's so great that we can have this. This, this has been like a huge task to build and the materials and the parts so far, they have been 20,000 euros. So it's not cheap and we have used like almost two months. Ah, it's terrible to watch it, ah. even with the bulletproof window. What the hell, I thought that this is going to fix everything. Oh, here it goes. Ah, that wasn't bad enough. Mm -mm. Let's throw a new one. Yep. Okay, here it goes. Uh, I put the press to be a bit slower, so maybe that makes it more explode. Yeah. Sparks. Yeah, I think those weren't big shrapnel, but fast. Let's go have a look. Yeah, I'm super hyped up about this. This is so much nicer now. 
when the uh, shrapnel have more room to breathe. It's not like in small box. It's like if you have like some pet animal, it's not nice to have like too small room for that. Now, now the shrapnel have like a lot of room here to play around. Uh, oh, this is also broken already. Yeah, there isn't any, any marks anywhere. Uh, I, think, I think we are not going to escalate this now. On the next week, we have car springs flying out from here. I'm going to make tools that are a bit like this. So the spring is going to get compressed and then launch it out. I think that's one of the most stupid things that anybody has ever done. So subscribe the channel to see that next week. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.